tech rabbit here so anyway anybody who's been following the channel for a longer time you know I've been using um, 3d modeling software of different types I've used uh, fusion 360 um, FreeCAD, and um, I've even tried blender even though me and blender don't get along <laughs> very well um, anyway uh, now it has come apparent to me that you can um, get a subscription for SolidWorks at a well, semi-reasonable cost, so I was actually wanting to try it, but I'm unable to um, purchase it. So um, let's just have a look, little look at this. So anyway, here's the company's um, main website, um, 3ds.com and Desault Systems, very flashily made. And it also has a um, product page, product grouping. So let's have a look at that. So actually the um, SolidWorks comes as a, a package or one of the components of uh, what they call 3D experience. And um, now they've um, made an, uh, an offer or a package specifically targeted for makers. I'll show that page. So that's here. So you have 3D Experience SolidWorks for makers. And this is a, um, a subscription-based um, system, so you can actually um, yeah, buy a, either either pay by per year or pay by month by month. And it's not that um, yeah, this is this is affordable. And then it has some um, additional information about what it actually contains. So anyway, here you can buy the product, so buy now, and I've already logged in, and so I created an account and all that. So you can actually pick it up here. So monthly subscription, add to cart, and I've already done it, so I'll just go view cart. So this is my cart, everything looks fine. And then um, when I say go to payments, then I get this. Unable to save the card, please contact the support for this error persists. And, and it has persisted for weeks on end. So anyway, after that problem, then I went to this um, online purchase support. And then if you go through all these different sections, you actually get... Um, I landed on this, uh, I have a bug, could you help, please help me? And then, you know, you fill out a form and then you send it in. And um, after a while, I actually did get a reply, and they said that you know you, we recognized your problem, and um, it's going to be sent to R and D to be researched. And then no fix, no contacts from them, nothing. And then after a while, I got a little bit tired of this, so I sent I, I resent the same using the same form, and um, you know referring to the fact that I contacted them prior previously and then um, again I got a mail oh yeah your issue is pending processing by R&D and but no details or who in R&D is going to be working on it or when they expect it to be fixed so I'm still stuck uh, without the possibility to um, buy the subscription so I can't actually um, yeah, test out SolidWorks or see if it would be better for my workflows, which is rather disappointing. Uh, you know, I really wouldn't like to be sarcastic, but I mean, I must say, there, is this really desalt systems? I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, if you look at the technology level they deal with on an everyday basis, I mean, you can't can't they get a simple e-commerce site to work? But anyway, in my main uh, purpose of this video is to actually be a little bit helpful. I was just wondering if somebody if somebody um, else has been experiencing this problem and, and if they have please leave it in the comments I'd like to know because uh, yeah, seemingly makers like myself don't seem to be able to actually even 
um, get access to their subscription model service for SolidWorks, which is uh, actually quite a big disappointment. Okay, but anyway, if you like this um, video, consider pressing the like. Um, you know, if you'd like to join in the fun for the, in the future, then consider subscribing. And um, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee to uh, reduce my frustration, um, please feel free to do so. Merch is also available. And I'll see you in the next one.